Hey everybody, this is Pete, and I wanted to knock out this short follow-up video to the video that I posted earlier because somebody pointed something out to me that I just straight up had slipped my mind, <laughs> but I think it is important. So in my previous video, I showed how you could link the model I properties, specifically the revision number, to the drawing file. So I'm not going to show that again, but I do want to highlight something because what I forgot was if you have a revision table, you want to capture each row. So the only thing I want to add to what I said in the last video is that you have to add a row first for each revision that you want to apply. So for example, I've already gone through this. I'm just going to add in revision A here. I, also, again, I'm going to put a link back to that first video. This is all non-vault stuff, okay? So I hit OK, close that up, and now in the Manage tab, we can hit that link. Um, there we go, just not again the session. So we've got the setup here. Now you see it's linked to revision A. So what you would want to do is you actually add a revision row. And when we add the revision row, this is where you could come in here and say, you know, your description was initial release or however you want to put that, et cetera, et cetera. But now that you've got a new row, that's where you can now link it up to each change in the model's revision number. So I come over here and make this B, sync it up. Now the next row would be B. So you kind of get the idea, right? So we add a revision row. We go ahead, and I'm, I'm not putting in the messages. Hopefully, everybody can see that. Then you go to the I properties for the model and, you know, row C, etc. So that's the process if you actually wanted to add another row to the table. Same thing we did in the first video. Just make sure you add a row to the table first. Again, a little bit of a manual process. If you want to automate that, there could be potential with iLogic, especially if you wanted to push it from the drawing back to the model. But this is an uh, uh, out-of-the-box methodology. Hope you found this helpful. Again, take a look at the link to see the first video. And, of course, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. And have a blessed day.